Welcome back to the Cool Fear Channel. I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Madrigal, aka the Buff Collector. The information on the channel is intended for adult collectors and not children. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Mesco Toys 112th Collective Wolverine. If you do enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Jumping right on into this review, guys. This has to be one of the best while simultaneously being one of the worst mezco offerings if you want to know what i mean stay tuned for this review guys we will definitely talk all about it now i do want to preference this review by also stating that i do not have the sentinel base i actually picked this guy up off of offer for 90 dollars without the sentinel base uh so yeah i won't be reviewing that or taking a look at that since i don't have it but we do have all the other accessories that he does come with so we are definitely going to be taking a look at all of the stuff that he does come with because man does he come with quite a lot of stuff so first and foremost i do want to say that i feel like 90 dollars is the perfect value for this figure minus the sentinel base and that's why one of the reasons for saying that this has to be one of the best and worst mezco offerings at the same time has to do with that sentinel base because yes it is a great base however it drives up the price significantly and honestly, unless you're a hardcore X-Men fan, you really don't need it. And if you're going to be displaying your Mezcos, most likely you're going to be displaying them uh, a little more space conscious. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, if you're a one-off collector, you really just wanted this Wolverine because you're a big Wolverine fan or an X-Men fan. And you want that Sentinel base to display them on, then yeah. But as a 112th collective collector... Um, I really don't need that base. I really just wanted the figure. And the reason I say it's one of the best Mesco offerings is because he comes with a shit ton of hands, heads, accessories, effects, and so much more, guys. So, yeah, guys, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on into all the heads that he does come with? Because he does come with a total of eight heads, guys. Yes, this Wolverine comes with eight different heads the one he does currently have on is his battle damaged one so here he's all sorts of fucked up you can see the adamantium poking through his skin and as you can see he's okay with it it's just you know kind of edging him on and kind of getting him more riled up and angry and more ready for the fight so with that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the first head sculpt right here which is the one that he does come in package with and it is the classic wolverine head right here as you can see me personally i am not the biggest fan of this mask but i do understand why they decided to include it it is the classic wolverine mask and they went ahead and gave us two of them one neutral and one growling you will notice that this one comes packed with both for essentially all the different heads that he does come with next up let's go ahead and take a look at his unmasked head here we have a neutral well i guess kind of grimacing neutral head it's not really a neutral neutral per se but i would say it's a neutral face for logan because he does have a resting bitch face let's not let's not dodge around that bush you know uh but he does come with a second one which is a little more classic looking or animated style looking uh, a little more of a growl here where you see some teeth so it's still more of a neutral grimace but he does have a little more expression with some teeth showing right there. The classic uh, cartoon look to his hair right here. Some hair falling in the front. Uh, yeah, super cool. So as you see, he does come with the battle damage head right here. But he does come with three other alternate heads similar to the one right there on the package. So you do get a neutral head right here where he's just looking at you grimacing. And kind of just like, hey bub, what the fuck are you looking at? You know what I mean? But next up, you do get a more growling kind of looking head right here. And honestly, these last three heads kind of go in stages. You go from grimacing Logan right here to growling Logan to now, ah, Logan right here. So yeah, super cool. If you can tell, that power damage one is definitely my favorite one. So with that being said, that wraps up all the heads that he does come with. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at all the hands that he does come with. So as you can see, he is currently using his fisted, uh, you know, bladed hands. So those are fists and he does have the blades out. But unlike the other offerings with Wolverine, they do also include uh, some open handed bladed hands right here. Uh, the one thing I will notice about my blades is that the plastic isn't cut the best right there and I do want to say I also only have one other uh, Wolverine offering and it is the Logan one which I also did only pay $80 for so you know and this one came with a lot more so yeah um, but his didn't come with open 
uh, claw hands, only fisted claw hands. So I don't know if the original Tiger Stripe one did come with those open claw hands. Let me know down in the comments below or if the X-Force one did. Uh, but as far as I know, this has to be the first one that comes with those open claw hands. But along to go with those classic heads, you do also get some bone claws right here. So you can have them with this adamantium or his bone claws your choice that is not all when it comes to hand options obviously as with all mesco 112 collectives he does come in package with some fisted hands right here which are very well nicely detailed they do have those silver things right there where his claws do come out he does also come with some open kind of action kind of grabbing hands as you can see it's kind of like grabbing but it's also kind of like an open action hand in a sense you do also get a right-handed pointing finger so he can be like hey bub what are you looking at come here you know what i mean typical logan and you do get a left-handed essentially c grip hand but i say beer gripping hand if you did get the recent pink skulls chaos club pack you would have got some beers with it and as you can see whoops this hand holds it perfectly. It didn't even fall out of the hand. Look at that. Uh, so yeah, by the way, this is from that Pink Skulls Club. So if you got it, you have them. If you didn't, I'm sorry, but uh, join the wait list. That's all I can say. Uh, those things flew off the shelf. Uh, he does also come with this, you know, kind of mask, kind of, you know, unhooded. So you can put it on his neck uh, while his alternate unmasked head is right there. You do also get an alternate belt. And this is another reason why I said this has to be one of the worst offerings from Mesco. Because while it holds right here, when you do actually put the belt on this guy, it just does not stay in place. It constantly wants to unhook and stuff. And it's not just this one either. It's the one that he also has on currently. Watch. We're going to watch him spin around just real quick so you can see. Watch his belt area. If you look right where the pouch is at, you'll see a decent gap uh, right where it meets. And yeah, so it's barely hanging on by a thread, which does come with that X-Men belt buckle right there. But you do also get this alternate regular looking belt buckle should you choose to put that on. So that is it for all the extra stuff that he does come with in terms of like, you know, wearing accessories. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at all the effects that he does come with because man, does he come with quite a few. So he comes with this one right here which is pretty interesting and by the way i'm going to try to do this i apologize if it comes out of focus but if i'm doing this i want to have my full attention on this they're supposed to have some slots that the claws actually fit into uh, i'm not seeing the slots on this one however and uh it's a little scary at first because you kind of have to just put it oh i think it goes this way oh yeah there's the slots right there so you can put it in right there see one of my biggest fears with these mesco wolverines mainly when i'm switching out the hands is these claws breaking that's just me personally though you do also get this effect right here which is really cool looking once again it just plugs on in right here there's some holes i know it's probably hard to see but there's some holes right there and it just plugs right in and you can get that swooshing effect right there you do get this one right here which does have some more jagged edges right here as you can see if the camera will focus and go ahead and turn it around this way so you can see more of those jagged edges versus this one that we just looked at which has more of a smooth look and finish to it with these once again you just turn them around find the holes oops find the holes pop the claws in oops this one, honestly, I've had some issues with. I feel like the holes aren't as deep as the other ones. Um, so it might not stay. Or it might just stay for a second. And second to last, you do get this straight kind of striking effect. So this one should be interesting as well. All right, guys. So there we have it on the claws right there. As you can see, you just put it all into the holes and it lines up. So last but not least, you do get this giant x effect as if wolverine is slashing and you do get three holes up here here down here and here to put his claws wherever you choose um i'm not going to do it with this one only because it does require two but uh yeah you get the gist of it you get this giant x effect which is really really cool as with every typical mesco you do get a base but like i said i don't have the sentinel base however the guy did leave me with the flight stand so i have the flight stand and of course the mesco accessory baggie right there so that wraps it up for all the great accessories that this guy comes with so why don't we go ahead and pull him off the turntable and take a closer look 
all right guys so here we have them all nice and close to the camera and here we can really take a nice closer look at that battle damage head and like i said you can see the adamantium poking through his skull right there and his face and he just looks like he's like hey bub you think this hurts me this is just rolling me up <laughs> honestly guys i have to admit i had no intentions of picking this guy up but Man, am I glad I did because he is phenomenal. He has some pretty great articulation too. So, uh, yeah, before we go into that, let's go ahead and just take a look at the overall body. Like I said, with this belt right there, I just tapped on it and it clipped open. So we're going to go ahead and just remove that. As you can see, that belt buckle is removable. So that way you can swap it out. But taking a look at him, he is the classic Tiger Suit Wolverine. Um, I don't have the original offering, so I cannot compare or say um, really what is different and what's better on this one. Other than most likely just an updated articulated body and accessories and stuff like that. Obviously, you know, this head and all those other heads that he comes with. Because I'm sure the first one only came with a head or two. So, yeah. Um, but not too much to look at in terms of this guy's uniform. It's just an all yellow jumpsuit with a few tiger stripes right there. Some shoulder pads right here, which are on some hinges so that way you can move them around. So that way his shoulder gets a little more articulation. Some blue briefs and of course his classic boots right there. So with that being said, I guess let's go ahead and move on into articulation. He can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. And he does have some really good head wobble right there. He can look down that far. He can look up that far, which is amazing because technically Wolverine is a very short character. And even still so, like even if he was a tall character, most of the time he's fighting against some sentinels, which are like, what, 50 to 100 feet tall. So yeah, he needs that ability to look up. So moving on to his arm articulation, he will go to a T-pose right there. Like I said, whoops, these do come off every once in a while. The good thing is they are relatively easy to pop back in. I would suggest popping the hinge out and then just shoving it in all right whoops let me see all right guys so there we go the shorter pad is back in place uh it isn't too difficult i just with wolverine and his claws i wanted to make sure i didn't drop them i didn't do anything stupid and break anything uh, so i wanted to do this off camera real quick but it does slide right back in like i said i would suggest you know just popping it out and then pushing it back in so like i said he does go out to a t pose he will go 360 since his shirt or jumpsuit is cut off at the arm. So that's one great positive about this Mesco. Uh, he does have some bicep swivel. He does have a butterfly joint. He does have double hinge elbows. However, this guy is too buff to go in past that. Rotation at the wrist, hinging in and out, up and down, whichever way that ball peg is facing. Ooh. You do get some rotation at the waist, but once again, with all soft good figures, you got to be careful. App crunch that far, back that far. Taking a look at his leg articulation, he will, let's move his arms out of the way. He will do the splits, look at that. So Wolverine can join the cheerleading squad. Uh, he does come with a bit of a thigh swivel up top. He will kick forward that far. He will kick back ever so slightly. He does come with double hinge knees, which allow him to go back that far. And last but not least, his ankles will go down very slightly, up very slightly. But he does come with a slight ball rocker hinge joint as well. Mesco is getting really good with that. Uh, if you didn't know before, they hardly ever had any ball rocker hinge joints. And now uh, the majority of their figures are doing really well in that section. So that wraps it up for articulation. All right, guys, so that's it in terms of this Wolverine. There's nothing else to look at, so that wraps up my review of the Mesco Toys 112th Collective Wolverine. What did you guys think of this figure? Did you guys pick him up? Are you going to be trying to pick him up? Rate him down in the comments below, 1 through 10. Is he better than the original release or not? Let me know if you have that guy. And also, if you've made it this far, type down in the comments below, bub. That way I know you've made it this far and are enjoying the content. If you want to support the channel or can support the channel, please, I would really appreciate you checking out my Patreon link down below. Any and all help is truly appreciated. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some really cool pics that I took of this guy. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to give it a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great fucking day.